There are only few tutorials based on brushes in Photoshop. So that's what we're going to explore today and I'm going to teach you how to create a cinematic and stunning poster using Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to give away two brushes and a color dot too. So there are tons to cover so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we're in Photoshop and very first thing, let's get an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N. And I'm going for four by five. Again, same thing, resolution to 300 color mode to RGB. And let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop our very first player image right over here. And press Ctrl and T, let's make it a little smaller and let's add a little rotation maybe something like that maybe let's make it a little more yep here we go and now let's drag and drop another png so let's drag and drop right over here and press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger just like some and let's make a copy ctrl j ctrl t Let's flip it on the other side and let's uh, create a mirror. Here we go. Yep, just like that. And let's select both of them. Control T. Let's keep it somewhere in the center. And let's merge that. Control E. And it's a single image. And now let's convert it as a smart object again. And again, select this player image, control T. Let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right. Top, right over here. Let's bring it on top. Here we, here we go. All right, and then let's make it a little smaller. Here we go. And anyway, we're going to do some adjustment later. So let's keep it like that for now. Add a background solid. So I'll just go over here, add a solid, and I like to give it a kind of darker color. Yep, something like that. And let's click on OK. And now select the player image, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows. Okay, let's go on color mixer and uh, let's drop down the saturation for yellow and orange a little bit and maybe let's drop down the luminance for red a little bit and let's drop down and uh, the overall saturation so let's go over here let's drop down the overall saturation maybe something like that and let's go to effect tab and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. So this is what we got and let's add a curve on top. And let's click on clip to layer so that this curve gonna affect uh, this player image only. And let's make it a darker, something like that maybe. Let's go over here and let's add an exposure tool and let's drop down the exposure a little bit and let's click on clip to layer. Here we go. Now let's click on that layer max. Let's go to black color and let's add some ease glue right over here. Just like so. Here we go. So this is before and this is after. Let's click on that uh, curve and let's select on that layer max again with the same black color. Let's erase some of these highlights from here too. Okay, 
and maybe let's increase the opacity and let's select on that uh, image and let's go to filter and again let's go to camera draw filter and let's add a kind of uh, similar effect let's go over here click and apply previous setting and i think this is looking pretty good but you know what like for now let's uh drop down the saddle a little bit here we go and let's click on okay so this is what we got and again let's add a curve let's click on that clip to layer and let's make it a little darker here we go and let's click on that layer max go to brush and again and with the black color selected let's get some of these highlights back so here we go Here we go. So this is before and this is after. Now let's go over here, create a new layer and go to brush. And this is the brush that I was talking about. So let's go over here. Now let's go for this brush and let's change the opacity to 100%. And let's go for a kind of warmer color. Yep, something, something like that. And let's add a stroke. Here we go let's go on very top let's go over here add a lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use this slot so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and let's create a uh, one more layer on top go to brush and again let's go back to general soft brush and let's go for a white color let's change the blending mode to screen also let's go with yeah i'll just go with screen i guess and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's go on the very bottom create a new layer and with the same brush let's add some glow and let's change this blending mode to soft light and let's drop down the opacity some more here we go and let's add our text and let's change the font Control T, let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. And let's go for kind of a little brighter color. Yep, something like that. And let's add a curve on very top. And let's squeeze it like that let's increase the side lift the saddle a little bit here we go and again let's create a new layer go to press and i'm going to add some clouds so let's go for a cloud brush so i will say i'll just go with yeah i'll just go with this brush so select this one let's add some clouds right over here and let's go on very bottom and now let's create a new layer and go to brush and let's add few clouds right over here and let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and uh, let's go on very top again and let's go back to brush and let's change the blending mode to soft light.
And now let's go back into the very first and let's go back to the top layer. Let's create a new layer, go to brush. And let's go for a general soft brush again. And let's add some glow. So I will add some random glow right over here. Maybe here too. Let's drop down the opacity some more. Here we go. And yep, that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, you guys take care. Be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.